judging by them clouds there, it looks like it's going to rain today. But yeah, it's today Sunday, I've uh, not a lot on really, nothing to do, no work on. Uh, our last year's work at day unfortunately, so I'm just chilling out today in the van. And uh, yeah, th this is my setup basically, uh, when I am sort of chilling out. There's my chair. Uh, open that up, and I'm just sat there, watch a bit of YouTube. Uh, I did used to have a, uh, a seating area where that fridge is, but when I bought that fridge, it's taken it over. And to be perfectly honest, having that seat like that, it's comfy. I can chill out there. The fridge acts as my little table, and uh, yeah, it does the job. It's the phone to here, put the chair away, and I've got my space again. So, yeah, uh, this is uh, me chilling out today. Well, it did start raining after all. Well, only a little bit, to be honest, not too heavy. So, I'm in my van now, just chilling out in chair, looking at my lovely view of an electric pile one. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I'm in an industrial park, as I said, and uh, on a Sunday it's brilliant in one respect because it's dead as a doornail, it's peaceful, you've got no cars, got no people, uh, you just uh, feel more relaxed really. Uh, I mean I'd love to be able to have a field where I could stay in, you know, or woodland or a nice area, I mean uh, a lot of uh, van dwellers seem to be at the coast or out in countryside. Uh, I've uh, put some ads on. Uh, on some farming, uh, Yorkshire farming sites, see if anybody's got the farms local to Leeds, uh, which I could, you know, stay on. And uh, I've had no reply. I mean, in one respect, I should go to, you know, these farms and, and can ask them, but kind of a bit shy in asking, to be honest. Uh, and then also, maybe, I don't know, maybe that rejection is where, you know, you, you tell them, uh, oh, you know, I live in my farm and I'm looking for somewhere, you know, where I can pitch up. And I don't know where they automatically think, uh, Oh no, you trouble or something? Uh, I mean, not at all. Uh, so if you're watching this and uh, you've got some uh, uh, land uh, near Leeds, or you know, I don't know, somewhere nice down by the river, and uh, you know, you let me stay on it, uh, please do get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I mean, it'll uh, be sort of like having to uh, try and finding spots around Leeds. I do have certain spots, you know, I'll travel around so kind of, you know, fluctuate between them. Uh, Carlisle's nice. I've had a few comments uh, regarding uh, this uh, gas fire. Uh, I knew I would actually. Uh, I don't actually have it on in the night time. Uh, I've also got one of them uh, carbon monoxide detectors and uh, but it'd be definitely no no to leave it on during the night. I mean, basically at the moment, get it nice and toasty on an evening uh, before bed and uh, and turn it off. Uh, but I should be doing away with it, hopefully. Uh, I've uh, ordered off eBay a, one of them uh, diesel eaters. Uh, somebody else on uh, YouTube, uh, Leon the Terrible, uh, he's bought one for his boat and uh, he inspired me uh, to actually get one. Oh, by the way, check out his channel, actually. Uh, he has a good uh, YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, anyway, so that should be within the next seven to ten days. I've never fitted one. Uh, I asked... Uh, is it easy and uh, apparently uh, it was up and running within an hour so uh, give it a bash myself and you also get YouTube don't you you know channels which you can uh, watch you know how to install things I mean it, I did it a couple of years ago with the solar panels and uh, I mean putting it bluntly that they, they were piss easy to do but you know I looked on YouTube also my uh, my skylight I uh, you know watched how that was done even though I did develop a leak so uh, which is sorted now Fingers crossed anyway, I haven't had any more leaks. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I had some comments, obviously, you know, concerned comments, uh, you know, regarding one of these, and uh, uh, which is uh, understandable. Uh, I did used to actually have one in another van. I mean, the, it's a big van, what I meant, so it's, I mean, you can't really get a grasp of it we're looking on, on camera, but I mean, we're looking at, you know, 14 foot, you know, in length, so it's not a really tiny uh, van, so. Uh, maybe one of the reasons why I don't get as much conversation, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, uh, get this eater and then I can do away with having this. Uh, I mean, it's not taking up a great deal of space. I did have one of them, uh, what do you call, Caligas eaters. Uh, I, mean, I do actually have one, it's in storage. reason why I didn't put that in, because it's more square and uh, it would have taken up more space. And uh, I thought, all right, I'll get one of these. And uh, do I throw out some heat though, I'll tell you that.
Well, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be gone and get this diesel heater and uh, I hope it's not cheap crap what I'm buying, uh, time will tell. At the end of this month, round about the 20, around about 26, I'm sure it's 26, anyway we've got about five days off me now, last uh, five or six days, uh, one of them two, and uh, thought about just doing a, a bit of a road trip, get out at City, and I uh, haven't quite decided where we're going to go yet. Thinking of uh, Wales, North Wales, even thought of uh, Cornwall. Uh, on it, thing with Cornwall, it's hell of a bloody drive. I think you're looking about seven and a half hours, uh, you know, of constant drivers with daft like that. Anyway, I once did a, uh, a week's road trip down there and uh, was uh, went all the way down to St Ives, uh, Newquay, Brixham, Torquay, and then went into. Bournemouth oh, very uh, Monkey World anyway, if anybody knows where Monkey World was. Uh, that turned into a disaster because we were pissing it down at Monkeys being uh, quite intelligent like they are. They thought I'm staying indoors and I'm coming out. So uh, that was a disaster. Uh, and then from there we headed up into Wales. So uh, that, were a, that were a good week. That, that were about a couple of years ago. That. So yeah, anyway, so we, we've got these few days and uh, I did... I, I had an idea actually, as uh, you guys, uh, any fellow uh, full time van dwellers, uh, you know, if you uh, fancy putting kettle on and, uh, you know, meeting up for a brew, uh, have a chat and that, like get in touch, maybe I could, you know, uh, do a bit of van dwelling uh, too. Uh, just a little thought I had anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go now, uh, I've got a film to watch. Oh, before I go, speaking of that film, I got myself, uh, it's got an unlimited card, it's uh, Cineworld. Uh, or Cinema World, one of them two it's called and uh, for seventeen ninety nine a month you contracted for 12 months and you see as many films as you want and uh, uh, what did I say over there? Born, born, to be, born to be a Star or something like that it's got that Lady Gaga in it, it's a good film actually it's worth going and seeing that but anyway yeah that film so that it would that would have cost us £10.20 to go in so this seventeen ninety nine, 99 uh, you know it's I don't know, say, say three, four films, you know, a month, uh, it's it's going to work out, a bit, you know, pretty much a, a bargain, uh, as long as you're not actually buying stuff like popcorn and all that crap, I, know, I don't know about you, but we can probably go to a pound shop and, uh, and bring ours in, because there's no way I'm paying their bloody daft prices, like, uh, I don't know, bloody four pound for a Coca-Cola or something daft like that. So, yeah, speaking about that, actually, when we went in this place, uh, I've never had this before. Uh, you know, we had a sweet, so we had a pop, you know, in my rucksack, and uh, so there uh, you check your tickets. And then as you go into, you know, actually going into the auditorium, I'm saying that right, uh, there's a guy there checking bags off, oh, shite. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's no, I, I, there's another policy you can't take uh, hot food in. I've never seen anything regarding, you know, taking your own sweets and popping. I mean, I've been doing it for, for years because, uh, I mean, there's just a rip off out of what they charge. But anyway, I thought, when it's like, can I open your bag? I thought, here we go. Uh, and they were like, yep. Yeah. And then that were, you know, and I thought, ah, oh, right, he didn't say out. So, uh, obviously, they ain't got a policy where you, you know, you can't take stuff in. Uh, but yeah, anyway, right, I'm going. So, uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, I had uh, thoughts of uh, doing this road trip, so if anybody's on route, wherever they decide to go, knows yet, get in touch. But uh, anyway, yeah, catch you all later and bye for now.